Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Afro Plus Law modding tutorials and in today's episode I'm going to show you the latest callbacks which were added to the game with the patch for the booster update. And what these callbacks do is they just make our lives easier. There's a, a, a couple of them in total. I'm going to show you the ones which have to tackle or which have to deal with something changing, game starting, maybe the room changing and things like that. They're very self-descriptive but nevertheless here they are. The first one is MC Post Game Started, and this callback is used, and this particular function is called whenever the game is started or continued. The next one is the game end, and this is whenever the game is ended, either by you dying or whenever you finish or kill the final boss. Then is the MC Pre Game Exit, and this one is called whenever you exit the game manually through the menu. In this case, that's when, when you exit the game, this function is called. Then you have the new level, and a new level in this case is called whenever you enter a new floor, so whenever you go from basement 1 to basement 2 for example, or when you go from shoal to the dark room, in this case this function will be called. And then we have the MC post new room, and this is called whenever you enter a new room. Maybe if you wanna just check for unique rooms, a room class has its own variables and values which you can use to check if it's a unique room or a visitor room before, but basically whenever you enter a new room, so when you go from the starting room to the treasure room for example, this is the callback that'll be used. I imagine that game started and game exit will be mainly used to save and load data and this is probably the best way of going about it since now we have dedicated callbacks to do that. So if you have some form of achievements and if you use the data which exists in the game which you can save and load, the game exit is probably gonna be when you save your data and game started will be when you actually load up that data. Well game end might work in a similar sense, y you might do something else with it. Like with anything, I don't want to give you too many examples because I don't want you to focus on one particular thing that you can do with these things. Obviously, we have these tools to play with and we can do basically whatever we want. So I don't want to limit your imagination. But in this case, what I did is just have some debug text on the screen and whenever something occurs and whenever something changes, the the applicable text will be changed in the debug text and just shown on that particular spot. So if I hop into the game, I can show you how this actually works. So welcome to the game, and you can see that now that I started, the game says the game has started. I'll first gotta give myself debug 10 so I just kill every enemy in the room so I can show you what's going on as I actually move through the level. So when I enter into the next room, you can see that the room change becomes true, and this is the text that's shown on the screen. The next thing I want to show you probably is the new level, so whenever you enter a new level, that is when you beat the boss and obviously go to the new floor, the text new level will be displayed on the screen. So if I just go down and, and just keep the cutscene, you can see that the level has changed and this is the callback that was called in this case. Another one is when you exit the game, you should you won't really see it in this case because obviously when you exit the game nothing can show up on the screen, but if I continue it up again you can see that the game has started again shows up on the screen. So essentially this is all that these callbacks do. They're not very maybe spectacular or hard to use, but they are new and they are there for us to use and especially with some of the modding tools that we have I can imagine you can do a lot with this. So with the latest update a lot of new callbacks were introduced and in this case I don't want you to focus maybe that they're very small or useless. The main thing that they are just in, instead of making our lives easier is also they reduce the load of the mods whenever you use them. Basically if you had to or wanted to do any of these things before you would have to have a constant loop with a post update, keep checking whatever the room has changed and then you, you would have to do some complicated logic there. And that's okay in some regard but obviously it is quite intensive in the CPU just because you have to keep checking and reach checking and just looping and it was just a waste of system resources so if you imagine if you have a lot of mods doing that way it will lag the game down but now that we have these new callbacks you can update your mods or when you create the new ones you can use this and that pretty much guarantees that in the long run if you have a lot of mods installed your game will lag overall less and nevertheless i hope you enjoyed this one guys and i hope to see you next time 